Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book and record to play for you. Today's book is Ernie Little Live, requested by Raffaele Kingar Sharif from 1983. So let's get started. Ernie's Little Live. Story by Dan Elliott. Pictures by Joe Matthew. <laughs> together. Every time you hear the turn the page. Ernie's Little Lie. One day, Ernie and Bert were walking by Mr. Hooper's store. Suddenly, Ernie stopped. his nose to the store window. Inside was a beautiful box of paints. It had lots of colors, even gold and silver. Gee, said Ernie. I wish I had that box of paints. Maybe you can have it, said Bert. Mr. Hooper is having a contest. The painter of the best picture wins that box of paints. Ernie started to run home. Wow! He said. I am going to paint a picture right now! Ernie got out his old paint box. Then he got some paper. He was ready to start painting. The doorbell rang. I have a letter for you, Ernie. Said the mailman. Thanks. Said Ernie. Then he said goodbye to the mailman and opened his letter. The letter was from his cousin. It said, Dear Ernie, I painted a picture for you. I hope you like it. Love, Cousin Fred. It was a great picture of a tiger. Wow, said Ernie. It is so much better than any of my pictures. And then Ernie got an idea. Mr. Hooper, that I painted this tiger. Then I would be sure to win the contest, said Ernie. Ernie's heart beat faster. He looked at the painting again. No, I cannot lie, he said. Ernie hung the tiger painting on the wall. Now I will paint my own picture for the contest, he said. He painted a picture of Rubber Ducky. It was a good painting. Bert saw the tiger painting as soon as he came home. What a great painting, he said. You will win the contest for sure, old buddy. He took the painting off the wall. I'll take it to Mr. Hooper for you, said Bert happily. Wait, Bert, said Ernie. There's something I have to tell you. Tell me later, Bert said. Slam went the door. <laughs> Now, let's turn the record over. 
Ernie looked sadly at his painting of Rubber Ducky. He rolled it up and put it in his pocket. Then he put on his sneakers and went outside. I must tell Mr. Hooper the truth, he said. But before Ernie got to Mr. Hooper's store, Big Bird saw him. Ernie! shouted Big Bird. Your tiger painting is great. I bet it will win the contest. Do you really think so? asked Ernie. Yes, I do, said Big Bird. And so does everyone else. Don't be late for the contest. And Big Bird ran off. But Ernie just sat on the curb. I want that paint box, he said softly. But I don't want to lie. How did I get into this mess? At last, Ernie went to the store. Everyone was already there, and everyone had a painting. Bert's was a broom. Oscar's was a garbage can. Big Bird's was a big sunflower. But the best painting of all was the tiger. Mr. Hooper liked all of the paintings, but only one could win first prize. Mr. Hooper gave Ernie first prize, the beautiful box of paints, and everyone clapped. Thank you, Ernie said sadly. Then Big Bird said, Ernie, may I have your painting to hang by my nest? Ernie looked at Big Bird and burst into tears. I did not paint that tiger. <laughs> he cried. My cousin painted it. He took out his picture of Rubber Ducky. This is my painting. Ernie, so that's what you wanted to tell me, said Bert. Yes. <laughs> cried Ernie. Bert put his arm around Ernie. It is not always easy to tell the truth, said Bert. But you did it. I'm proud of you, old buddy. I will mail the paint box to my cousin, Ernie said. Because he really won it. Everyone cheered. Yay! Yay! <laughs> You didn't win the contest, said Bert. But you painted the best picture ever of Rubber Ducky. And that is no lie. So that would earn Ernie, Big, uh, Ernie Little Live. For 1983, requested by Rafferty Kingar Sharif. So, if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. And our next book will be Vesibo Soup.